Hey, what's goody fry gang? Now the trailer for chill season just dropped today and it's been hectic all around. And I finally got around to my in-depth chill season trailer analysis. All right, there's a lot to talk about, so let's get right into it. The trailer opens with a montage of the brand new map Robo Ramen, and then we get a segment with some Inklings and Octolings looking at the signs. Now here we can see that we are getting some new gear, especially this one all the way on the right. That one looks pretty cool. I'm not sure if all of this is new gear, but a vast majority of this I haven't seen before. After that, the new Chirpy Chip songs No Quarter kicks in. Now. Sharpie Chips is my favorite in-universe brand. Deadfish is my favorite artist, but in terms of band, it's definitely Chirpy Chips. So I'm so excited to be getting new music from them. And speaking of that, this trailer is kind of like a music video for Chirpy Chips. So we're going to be seeing a lot of Chirpy Chips effects in this video, in this trailer at least. For example, here where we see a montage of their logo, and then we see a drawing of all four Chirpy Chips members. But more importantly, we get our first look not only at the new map, but also first for kits for this season. Now going from left to right, we see the Custom Blaster, Splatana Stamper Nouveau, Sorella Undercover Brella, and Reflux Deco. Now for the first two, the Blaster and Splatana, we don't know what any of their kits are sub or special but Cirella undercover we do know it has the splatter color screen which i will talk about later on and also later on we see that reflex deco has splash wall so at least for these four weapons we only know the special for undercover and the sub for reflux we now get a look at four more new kits and one of these made me so so happy First, again from left to right, we see Foil Flingza, a new S Blast, not sure what the brand is of yet, a Painbrush Nouveau in the middle, and then Empery Splat Duelies on the right. Alright, I'm not going to get into it, but I have been going insane lately about a new Painbrush, specifically Painbrush Nouveau, and then they go ahead and drop it in the trailer. So, I am very, very happy for this new Painbrush. But as of for these weapons, for we don't know any of them except for Empery Duelies, we know that those have Curling Bomb, and for the new S Blast, it has Burst Bomb. So giving Burst Bomb to S Blast was a major, major improvement, and Empery's having Curling Bomb is a callback to Splatoon 2, where it had Curling Bomb Inkjet. So if they just bring back the entire kit from Splatoon 2, that would be pretty cool. We then see a nice animation of a very arcade looking main menu screen that opens up into a real like live Splatoon 3 match. And it looks all pixelated, which I think is a very nice uh, addition. And then this is our first instance of seeing the new S Blast use Burst Bomb. Now we're not really sure what the exact brand for the S Blast is. There's no branding on it except for the purple highlights instead of orange and knowing s blast is a nintendo weapon nintendo is officially like in the splatoon lore so they have their own weapons like uh and zap and s blast so this could just be an s blast 46 or something since with n zap it was n zap 89 or n zap 85 and then we got n zap 89 so we know this is s blast 92 we could get s blast 46 it's just going to be S Blast with some extra number, just like NZAP. After that, we get a little montage of the four, four of the weapons that we saw earlier in the trailer, and it's all being reflected in Harmony's glasses, which I think is a very nice touch. It makes it hard to see, but I think it is very nice. Now, here is where we can confirm that this is a reflex deco, as you can see the yellow deco arrows on it, and we can also see Foil Flingza, and these are the Empery Splat Duelies, although you can't really see it too well. We have we will have a clearer shot of them later on, a couple seconds into the trailer. But here it is confirmed that this is Reflux Deco. Next, we see this clip of a match with Harmony walking in front of it, 
And here, where Harmony is walking around, we can see that Reflux falling down to shoot at the Squeezer. It took me a while to figure out what that weapon was behind Harmony, but I did determine that was a Squeezer. And then it goes into an overhead view of the match, where again, we see the Squeezer and an S-Blast. Then, this in this very cool comic strip, film strip type of thing, uh, we see... Here are the Empress Splat Duelies with Curling Bomb and throwing a Curling Bomb and going to take out this person here. And we do get a better look at the Duelies here, confirming that it is Empress, as you can see. Very faintly, you can see the logo for Empress on the Duelies and just the color combination, the color scheme of the Duelies matches that of Empress. Next, this is where we get onto the splatter screen, the splatter color screen, a brand new special for chill season. And we are also, if the data mines are to be correct, we are also getting one more brand new special that hasn't been shown off yet. Now we have probably the biggest part of the trailer. We get showcase of the brand new special splatter screen, splatter color screen, which will be on the new Sorella Undercover Brella. And this is a very pretty interesting special. Now, it is basically just a huge wall, a huge wall of ink and mist type of thing. It kind of functions like toxic mist, but instead of like an enclosed space, it's one giant wall. And once you actually go through it, uh, you're screen goes grayscale and you take a lot of the effects that uh toxic mist uh, gives as far as we know you know you get slowed down i'm sure it'll be harder to recover ink and if you look there's like these little icons swirling around the heads so maybe it messes up with your controls as well so when you go through it your controls are reversed i don't know it seems very very gimmicky and but we do see that the grayscale doesn't stay on screen for long as it starts to revert back to his regular color after a couple seconds. But if it's going to stay this big, this special would be very nice for say like Rainmaker or uh, Tower Control, especially like Rainmaker and Clam Blitz. You can just throw the screen at a choke point and it will be very hard for the opposing team to get in and do anything since you would be slowed down a lot and it might drain ink. We don't really know too much. We just see the visuals, but this will be a very good competitive uh, special, especially for Rainmaker and Clan Blitz. It's just a giant smoke screen to just stop your enemies. It looks very, very cool. And this might actually make Undercover a decent weapon now. We don't know. We have to see what sub it gets. Maybe it gets Suction Bomb. Maybe it gets angle shooter. We just don't know yet. But splatter color screen is going to be a very, very good special, it seems like. And before this inkling jumps on over to Bluefin Depot, we get a very large view of the new map, Robo Ramen. And this map looks very open. All right, this might be one of the biggest like open maps that we have. It looks to be maybe the same size if not a little bit bigger than crab leg capital but this is a very open map you can go through the middle the left or the right there are multiple ways to get in so it's not something like hammerhead where the entire map is just a hallway and the whole map itself is a choke point you have multiple ways to get around the enemies more than enough room to get around the enemies and i think if you were to throw a splatter color screen it would take about two of them to completely go from edge to edge of the map, which goes to show just how massive the screen is. I don't think it's going to be that big in game. And if it is, then they're probably going to nerf it because that shit is huge. That screen is massive, all right? Now just imagine a team full of those. You could go from one edge of the map to the other, like width wise, and just completely cover it if not like two and a half, it's so huge. But this map is very big and very open. There's a lot of room to move around. There are quite a bit of platforms. It's not as vertical as you would probably hope, 
but there is a lot of room to move around and it seems like Nintendo is finally, you know, learning and going back to the Splatoon 2 formula, giving us actual maps and not just big hallways. That is one of, if not the biggest complaints about Splatoon 3 is that the maps were just not that well designed. But ever since last season, we've been getting pretty decent maps. So I'm hopeful for the rest of Splatoon 3's lifespan that we will get even more maps like this. And before Splatoon 3 is over, there's one map that I want back more than anything that is Starfish Main Stage. That is my number one favorite map in the whole series. Just give me that and I will be happy. I just need Starfish in Splatoon 3 and I will be able to die happy. Now we see here uh, confirming that Reflux actually does have Splash Wall. Over here on the right, we can see the Reflux fighting off the Squeezer and they throw out a Splash Wall to protect themselves. So we do know it is confirmed right here that Reflex Deco will have Splash Wall, which Splash Wall on a Stringer, I've always thought would be pretty nice, especially on a Reflux, considering how short its range is compared to Tri Stringer. Just having a wall to protect it would be so very nice. And after that, the next scene right here, we also get a clearer view of the Deco arrows on the Reflex. We then see the Empery Duelies here flanking the undercover and we get a clearer shot right here once again confirming that these are the Empery Splat Duelies. And then after that we get to see a closer look at the Custom Blaster and just the Blaster and S-Blast just messing around with each other here. But after all of that we get some more big stuff here confirming that we will be getting a big run on Barnacle sometime soon. And not only that, there is a brand new King Salmonid, like I had hoped in my last video, saying I wanted there to be a new King Salmonid, and it looks like there is one. This looks kind of like a Maz, like a larger, more grotesque version of Maz. Now this one is interesting because apparently according to one of the comments from my um, last video, someone said that this is called large face and i had you know further asked them where they got this information they told me to just look up splatoon 3 samuel and graffiti and i did and i found around the beginning of this current season so three months ago apparently there is new leaked grizzco graffiti which looks kind of like a bear with a fish in its mouth this could be representing this new King Salmonid or not. This might be unrelated. Something to do with Mr. Grizz, perhaps, because for Kohuzuna and Horoboros, they also have graffiti. And the name for this graffiti is TS, which stands for traditional style, and then CMP. And considering this is a bear with a fish in its mouth, it is most likely stands for chomp. Now, I'm not sure if this has anything to do with this King Salmonid, but I figured I should mention it just in case it was relevant somehow. And then the trailer finally ends with this very nice graphic of the new Chill Season uh, key art, I guess. So that's it for the trailer, at least for now. That's all I've been able to find. Uh, if there's anything I missed, please let me know. But I'm very excited for Chill Season. I'm very excited to see the kit for the new paintbrush. That's what I'm most uh, excited and impatient to see is what kit the paintbrush will get. But other than that, this is looking like a pretty cool, a pretty cool season. And even though we were only shown eight kits here, I'm sure there will be more kits. We will be getting more than eight because uh, last season we also got eight. But again, this is a trailer. They're not going to show everything, every new thing in the trailer. There's obviously going to save some stuff for the main game. So now that they're almost, if not already done with side order, they'll have more people and more resources to work on the updates and the seasons. So hopefully we will be getting more maps as well as more uh, content or maybe another trailer perhaps because this trailer was relatively shorter and showed a lot less content than any other trailer we've gotten, I think, because this was more of like a music video for Chirpy Chips than an actual trailer. So I wouldn't be surprised if we'd be getting more content in tweets or another trailer before 
the new season drops. But that's it for now. If I find anything else, I will make another video or I just might make just a video in general of just discussing the trailer and everything about chill season. But that's it for now. So see you next mission and play some goddamn splatty.